Hey, how's it going? Uh, so I just wanted to make this. Oh, will you shut up? I wanted to make the. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. I'm hold on, hold on. I'm in the middle of doing something. Should have waited, but I didn't. Okay, cool. Um, so I've kind of been in the middle of uh messing with the car here and and the tune because I'm working on the next video. I thought I would have the video already um done by now but i haven't and the reason is with tuning this car and learning how to tune this car it's like this is not a simple car to really dive into learning with um now this isn't my first rodeo with tuning remember that was i've said it many times it was with the uh, micro squirt and the blue fox body that form of tuning while some of it, a, you know, a good chunk of it does translate to this car, most of it doesn't. So you have to like really pay attention to what you change because it can make a big difference. And not to mention that the software can be a little tricky and can mess up. And if you don't know where to look or you, that you're aware that it can do such a thing, you can be in some trouble, um, which is kind of like why I'm taking my time, because as I was making changes to the car and learning some of the more ins and outs of the HP tuners and all that, and some of the more sophisticated features, if you will, I ended up flashing a tune to the car and very bad things happened at wide open throttle, 20 pounds of boost and um, yeah, it went very lean, but thankfully no damage occurred. Um, you know, I pulled the spark plugs just to be sure they didn't look too bad. Like number two looks like it got a little warm, but like not excessive. The engine's been, you know, engine run fine since. So that freaked me out. Obviously I don't want to, you know, cause myself another eco boom. So I decided slow it a hell down, Kirk. You got to pay attention to what's going on. Because I'm just trying to, you know, learn, make changes so I can whip out videos. I haven't put out any videos and my views have been going down and my revenue has been going down. And, you know, I'm like, crap. So, but I kind of went about it all wrong. I kind of, you know, knee jerked reaction, just trying to get stuff done. Bad idea. I learned what I did wrong, which is, you know, the great thing about making mistakes is it gives you an opportunity to learn. Thankfully, I didn't damage the car, but it did teach me what to look out for. And I haven't had the issue since, thankfully. And I've been taking my time. Every time I make the changes, I go and do an extended data log. I'm careful to watch my air fuel um, while I'm going into boost. I'm careful to sample everything and check it before I make any other crazy changes. So, so far, so good. But with that, you know, I have a lot of other things I do in my day. So it's not like I'm just out all the time, you know, running the car, trying to get data and then make a revision and get more data. So I'm kind of like in between, I may spend an hour or so a day here, a day there to go out, data log the car, make my changes, and then whatever, but then it has to kind of roll into the next day where I can keep doing it. You know, it's not like I'm on a dyno, got a dyno session where I can just keep running the car. Okay, cool. That's how it is. Make my changes. You know, it's not, I don't have that ability. So I have to kind of work within what I have. So it's been a few days now since uh, I started this kind of process for this video, which is the whole point of the video I'm working on now that you'll eventually see is to start making the car faster. Uh, so with that, you got to make more power and well, you know, more power means more boost, more boost means more fuel. And all of that has to be dialed. So I'm taking my time. I'm doing like little changes here, going out, data logging, making sure fuel is good. Come back, check my logs, make my changes, flash, then usually I've already ran out of time. I got to do the next day. So you see what I'm saying? It's taken a few days just to get a few revisions to make sure the car is good. I'm feeling good. I don't know if I'm successful yet. I'm working the kinks out, but I wanted to make this video just to let you all know that I'm, you know, got something in the, in the oven. So it's cooking up here. I need to throw this out. So at least a couple of views comes on that channel. 
really dying here. Actually, that AT&T outage messed me up bad. My views have went right down the shitter and I haven't recovered. So actually yesterday was the lowest day of revenue pay I've had in a while. A while. Sucks. So, you know, treating it as a business, when you see profits go, you're like, shit! You quickly go into damage control, and that's what this video is. This is a little bit of damage control. I might throw up a couple shorts videos here and there just to keep stuff going on the channel so it doesn't die out. Um, keep the algorithm happy. But uh, more or less, this video is just to say, hey, got something cool cooking. Hopefully we'll get there and not have any problems. But uh, yeah, just a short one here. Just to let you all know that got some cool content coming on the way. So uh, until that video, that's it for this video. And uh, you know what to do. Like it, share, and keep a lookout for that next Cars Creative video.